edge because it's compact unlike this edge which is nice opened up. You push it in and you just twist it and it should go all the way down until it can no longer go down. So how long would you say it is? Like two, three centimetres? Just over three centimetres. Yeah. Because it varies where they've located the actual permanent wick inside the tube. And you might just want to trim it down a bit because it causes problems when you come to screw it all back together. And the permanent wick inside you... Inside here, yeah? the vessel. Okay, and you never change that? No. No. <laughs> if you do, you mm. ain't got a lamp. Mm. <laughs> so that's the only thing you change? Yes. yes. Might be a bit too big actually. But that, that's. I can trim it always down. The, the trick we found when, when we did the training for 2012 at Hendon was just get them. You, we send you loads of wicks, mm. just get them to practice with it until they yeah. get it right. Yeah. Just so they feel comfortable with it. Yeah, because what, what you tend to find is when they're under pressure to try to do it for a, an event or in a hurry, that's yeah. when it goes wrong mm. because they're not practicing it. up now. Looking good. Do you want to just do a close, hold the lamp up and just do a close up so they can see, hopefully see what the whip looks like when it's in place. Because that's the other problem, people end up with a great big you know, length of whip dangling out there, yes. which all that does is sets on fire basically and makes a well, mess of it. It burns lamp. a lot rapidly, it's more difficult to light it and put it out. Mm. 